All right, tap in, y'all. Let's get into it. All right, so this whole BBL agenda is really getting out of hand because that's all it is, is an agenda. Like, this is something that just started, I say, around the time a lot of a lot of female rappers got popular. That's when we started seeing more and more BBLs. I'll say around 2008, 2010, that's when the fakeness of the body started. Although it's been going around, but I haven't seen, I never really saw too many black women doing this. But now it's like everywhere you turn, women have tampered with their body unnaturally. And this, these are the results of what happens when you tamper with your body. Like, yes, it looks good when it's first being done, or it it might not. I'm not sure. I mean, to each his own. But, ladies, this madness has to stop. It has to end. It has to. Like, what happened to going to the gym working or earning that body that you wanted yeah it takes some time but this is not the way women are dying every day losing their health like do y'all see do y'all understand what's going on like where in the time where if you don't love yourself you won't make it and this is all it is is lack of self-love because if you truly loved yourself, you would be taking the time out to change your diet. You would be taking the time out to go to the gym. You would be taking the time out to really put the work in for what you really want. Like, easy come, easy go. Y'all taking the easy route, and this is the result. Taking a shortcut only gets you cut short. Think about it, ladies. Do y'all really think that men are attracted to these BBLs and a woman that's constantly getting her body worked on, a woman that's not putting in the work. Do y'all really think men are attracted to this? No, they're not. Yes, it looks, it, it's good eye candy, but at the end of the day, a man wants something soft and natural and, you know, the es- a true essence of a woman is unbeatable. The divine feminine you can't you can't sugarcoat that with plastic. You can't go and get that fixed by a surgeon because it comes from within. It comes from within, ladies. Self-love, self self-care. That's what a man is attracted to. A woman who's self-assured about herself, a woman that can take good care of herself. She doesn't have to get on a surgery table to do that. It's so wild because y'all think the beauty standard is what y'all see on TV. Y'all think the beauty standard is what rappers and people in the industry tell you. No, they get that from us, the regular people that's out in the public. There would not be no type of beauty standard if it wasn't for... Black women. Black women set the standard. Every other nationality is trying to have the full lips, the nice round, the the full ass, the full hips, because that's the beauty standard of what, what a woman should look like. A woman should have all the features, the feminine features. Nobody wants a hard titty and hard it's like come on i don't know how i never felt the bbl so i I can't call it (laughs) i don't know but i can only imagine once the the shit start breaking down and and what i've been seeing i can only imagine and like i stated if you're a woman out there and you don't see anything wrong with it well good for you baby in the long run come back to this video and tell us your experience tell us how you feel Tell us what's going on with your body. Tell us how it's sitting on your heart and you really can't function properly because you got all these health issues going on. Like if y'all going to be out here doing it, tell the young girls what's really good. Tell tell them the truth. Tell them how you suffering. <laughs> Don't just be out here because it, oh, well, I'm doing okay. Or, nah, you're not okay. You have issues. Like keep it real. We have a generation of young ladies that are watching us. Let's just all air it out. 
Y'all not satisfied with what y'all, a lot of y'all not satisfied with what y'all did to y'all body. Y'all just dealing with it, constantly going back to the doctor to see if they can fix it. When the whole time you could have fixed it, you never needed a doctor. You never needed a surgeon. All you need is self-love. But I'll be coming back with a part two of this. Y'all be good. Y'all be easy and stay safe, family.